Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic problem. So we have the square root of x of the square root of x of the square root of x. And this is equal to 7. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to square both sides. So by doing this, this actually cancels out this square root. So now we simply have x times the square root of x times the square root of x. And this is equal to 7 squared. Now, I'm going to take the square, I'm going to take the power of 2 again on both sides. And now this cancels out this square root. So now we have x times, sorry, x squared times x. times the square root of x. Now this is equal to 7 squared to the power of 2. Now once again, to cancel out the final square root, I'm going to square both sides. So now we have x to the power of 4 times x squared times x. And now this is equal to, now if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So as you can see here, we have 7 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. This would equal 7 to the power of 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So this would be 7 to the power of 8. Now, if we have something we form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So x to the power of 4 times x squared, this is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 2, which is equal to x to the power of 6. So now we would have x to the power of 6 times x is the same thing as x to the power of 1. And 6 plus 1 is 7. So now we have x to the power of 7 is equal to 7 to the power of 8. Now to cancel out this power, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 7 on both sides. So then these two cancel out because 7 times 1 over 7 is 1. So now we get x is equal to 7 to the power of 8 times 1 over 7 is simply 8 over 7. So this is our answer. Yeah.